Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Joel Lightcatcher on the Light Tech channel, and here we are in the field for our test on a very windy day uh, of the Hubson uh, X4 FPV brushless drone. Again, this is not the drone that you've seen for many months. This is the Pro model with the Pro remote that even comes with things like a nifty sunscreen. Anyway, we need to just start by putting the battery in. So we're gonna come around and got kind of down and in. You'll notice I already put my FAA designation there and I'm going to gently slide that in. It is, the wind is really starting to kick. Let's go turn our radio on and we'll click this on and let's see, these are polarized. There we go. And we'll just shove that in and see how well we do on this very windy day. There is the HD camera. And let's see, hello. Oh, now it's in the on position. And no, nope, now it's on. Now it's in the on position. The red light had to glow and it says calibrate compass. Okay, so that means I have to take this and twirl it. A level twirl. It says compass one. So we're doing that until the lights change. And then it said, we'll say, oh, there it is, compass two. Aim the nose down and twirl it again. And here we go. It's twirling, it's calibrating, the, and we're done. Okay, very good. I'm going to need to get my reading glasses because uh, I little. I have a little trouble with the screen, even with the sun's, sun's shade, and there you are. Okay, let's go. It's on GPS hold. I'm going to put GPS on. Very nice. Home is off, and we're all set. Let's go move over to the flying field now. Walk out to the field to um, give it its maiden flight. Yes, this is the very first flight. We're going to sit right down there, right in the center. As I said, it's very windy today. Maybe not the best day for this, but we're here and we're going to do this. Okay, start the engines. Here we go. Engines are started and up we go. This is in GPS hold mode and an incredibly windy day. You can see these flags and this is at full speed in the wind and it's just mirandering out there. I'm going to send it out here and it's probably going to go high and I imagine it's going to really struggle with the wind now. Now focus. It is very responsive without GPS in there. It's struggling there but it's good. Let's get a little turn around and up Whoops, up we go. Okay, selfie time. Hi, and let's go up and out. We're in GPS mode. I'm gonna put it into home. Let's see, return to home is on. And let's see what happens. Headless is off, return to home is on. Headless has to be off for return to home, and here it comes. Let's see how close it gets. And there it is, right above. And let's see, does it come down on its own? I am basically hands off. Here it comes, down, 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 down. Will it make the pad? Will it make the pad? Oh, come on, will it make the pad? Not quite. And you do have to manually turn the motors off. That was pretty cool. And if you can, you may not see this, but this wind is really, really strong. Um, I got 7.8 volts, it says. I'm still doing well. Let's go try this again. Let's go, ready. Arm your motors. Arm your motors, there you go. Home has to be off before you arm your motors. And up. And that was a manual landing. Engines off. 
Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm still on one battery and it hasn't died yet. So, so far, so far the verdict is, this is really a cool drone. I really like this. It's, it's responsive. It kills in the wind. It really does hold its place. I haven't tried. Follow me. I mean, look at this. The wind is blowing the propellers. That's how strong this wind is. You can hear that. That's the wind blowing the propellers. And you can see how well this handled, which is phenomenal. So um, if you want a strong, reliable drone that plays even in impossible conditions, uh, this could be the one for you. <laughs> that is so cool. All right. Anyway, this is Joel at the Light Tech Channel. Uh, highly recommend this. Uh, Hubson, and then Annie Hubson, thank you so much for sending me the pro model of the X4. Um, I like black, easy to see in the sky. Hate white, hard to see in the sky. Take my advice, put some labels on the controls so you know what they do. And uh, Hubson, how about an orange, yellow, and green model? Really easy to see in the sky. Love it, great, buy one. Um, I'll have more links below. So thanks very much, bye-bye. It is a bat out of hell with GPS off. It's doing quite well.